social justice movements and the women's movement isn't inclusive, we lose out on power. We don't fully lean into our power until everyone in the group that we claim to represent is being elevated. Black women, women of color, queer women, trans women, disabled women, Muslim women, and so many others are still asking many of y'all, ain't I a woman? Elevating folks on the margins doesn't just transform in a positive way the people who are marginalized, but it also transforms the people who are willingly or not so willingly or intentionally or not so intentionally doing the marginalization. I redesigned the trans flag in 2015 in response to the scores of Black trans women and folks who had been murdered that year. It really was an effort to kind of center Black trans people. White queer folk get to worry about legislation while Black queer folk is worrying about our lives. <laughs> that we get a fuller, more authentic picture of this fight for equality when Black voices are elevated in, in the LGBTQ plus movement and in women's movements. I also think that you can't really tell the history of the LGBTQ plus community without highlighting in a major way the contributions of Black people. You don't have Stonewall without Black trans folks like Marsha P. Johnson and Zazie Nova. Darling, I don't have a job, I'm on welfare. I have no intentions of getting a job as long as this country discriminates against homosexuals. You know, so we've always been here, but such is the case anytime white supremacy is involved, our voices have been kind of snuffed out and, and now we're bringing them back to the floor. Black trans! to start having realer conversations about the patriarchy and conversations about how we still overwhelmingly live in a society where men and masculinity in particular is prioritized. Um, and that's not okay. You know, we have to understand that um, your experience gender-wise should not be a barrier for you living the life that you deserve and achieving the dreams that you deserve.